Okay, um, so this session will be recorded so that we can share it for, for the difference later. Uh, I think we can start now. I just close the music. Yeah, we okay. have about 30 people joining already. Yes, okay. Nice. Uh, Okay, first of all, welcome guys. Uh, thanks for joining our uh, second architecture session. Uh, so, today uh, we're going to talk about GDL of that uh, recreation with 2D symbol. Yeah, it means some time to find this. Ashraf, I'll admit to the people and if someone uh, has a microphone on, I will mute them, okay? Ashraf, you're muted. You're muted. Okay, sorry, I think uh, I saw some videos <laughs> from CQ. Uh, that's a uh, yeah, video maybe. Uh, okay, okay. Okay, so um, uh, I repeat again. Uh, so this session will be recorded. Uh, so uh, later you can uh, uh, refer the recorded uh, session on our YouTube channel. So. It's easier for you to refine, you know, to follow up, or maybe refresh back. Or uh, want to refer back to the video game. Okay, so today, uh, what what uh, we're gonna talk about is about the GDL object creation with two D symbol. So um, I think some of uh, uh participant here maybe know about the two D symbol. Uh, uh, the object creation, the, maybe the DGTL, but I will briefly uh, start for that. What is GDL? You know, uh, how we, what we can do from the the GDL object. Um, for that, I go to the my slide. Okay, I think we can start now. Okay. Um, maybe some of the uh, super is not. Uh, maybe new in Akikat, right? I think I, I give a general brief about our company first. Again, okay. So, uh, what is graphics of uh, Gamsa? founded in Hungary in 1982. Uh, and then our first version of Akikat comes in 1984, running in Macintosh. So, that time, the Macintosh only the computer that can run this uh, graphical, you know, or software. Uh, for the design of modeling. And then in 2007, Manchester Group, the German listed company, uh, took over uh, Graphisoft. Uh, and then uh, we actually is uh, familiar in about currently about 180 countries, uh, including Malaysia, Singapore, even on Southeast Asia, like Vietnam, and even in Japan. It's quite a uh, huge uh, market there. And then uh, we have got about 85 distributors around the world and 11 subsidiaries. So like I said before, uh, in the after 2007, Manchester Group take over the graphics stuff, right? So below the Manchester Group, they have another uh, product or software that related to our uh, uh, work of field, like uh, this, uh, you can see now, uh, some of them may be familiar with like make sense for 3D design, you know, uh, rendering vector work uh, our sibling so actually uh, for the, you know, the check group, below the check group. And maybe some of them uh, for the facility management uh, software like the rock source uh, or model checker uh, solidly. But uh, today, today we're going to uh, focus on, on Archicad. Um, before that, I need to highlight this also for the um, uh, 
uh, uh, you know, uh, student teachers or lecturer, they can go to this my ACAP website. And then uh, download, uh, register and download the software is free for use for the student teachers or lecturer. Or you can go for the company, you can go to this uh, graphisoft.com slash try ACAP to get the 30 days uh, trial. Uh, Either, uh, you can scan this QR code to go uh, to the link provided. Uh, you need to register first, uh, create your own GSID, then you can start to download and use it. Okay. Uh, maybe I give a briefing about uh, you know, the, the upcoming, the previous topic and the upcoming topic also. Previously, we already done this design of with compact profile. Uh, they have a recorded video only. Uh, you can scan this QR code. Uh, it will link you directly to our YouTube channel, so you can review from there if you need to refer back or you want to you know, refresh back on for on the session previously. Okay. So today, uh, I'm gonna highlight about this second session topic GDL object creation with custom 2D symbols. Okay, uh, in this session, you will learn how to create your 3D model. Actually, it's not really created, but uh, of course you can create your own, but uh, it can use the no, uh, current or another uh, 3D model that you have already, but you want to do some changes for custom your model based on your local needs, let's say for Submission purpose, right? They have a special symbol that you need to apply for your model. So, uh, in this session, we will learn how to do it. Okay. Um. Okay. Generally, uh, maybe I need to before we jump to the what well, to the uh, demo. I think I I need to brief uh, briefly about what is GDL first. So, uh, GDL. Uh, is term for geometric description language or GDL. Okay, so it's a, a program language based on basics. It's a it's a, a what I call the script uh, using a program uh, language called basics. So um, it was created uh, to encourage architect to use this language to maybe build their own build their own geometric object in ARCHICAD, or maybe uh, from the other side of the object, you can even uh, change it to the GDL uh, object. So, uh, then you can manipulate the parameter and do something else, or you want to create a custom uh, object based on your need. So uh, this object can serve multiple purpose for fulfilling custom request, right? let's say right now. Like I highlight, maybe we need to have some specific symbol for our model, but it's not only a symbol, but actually it's attached to the object itself. And also we want to create a standard object collection for office use, or creating manufacturer object collection based on the specific uh, specification, or we customizing the, uh, and enhancing the object ship uh, with ARCHICAD. Okay. So, um, of course, in ARCHICAD, they have a multiple object in ARCHICAD that you can uh, using, uh, use it right after first install. Multiple object already there, but uh, but in terms of 2D, sometimes uh, maybe it's not followed for uh, local 2D symbol of local requirement, right? So, how how we gonna, you know, change that? And maybe using uh, to our local submission let's say okay uh, of course this session i will not go deep about the how you manipulate the what i call the, the parameter of the gdl but i uh, later i will show you a simple example so to give you some idea of how you can from the this basic you can do something like this so this is an example so this is the script that i will use on our object uh, so you can see uh, they have an uh, object type with the detail symbolic, right? And then uh, this is the script that you 
will uh, you just can copy and paste this script to your object and then it can come out something like this let's say uh, from this script you can get uh, you know detailed uh, shape of your model or you want to change it based on your local uh, symbol local uh, symbolic symbol that you will apply to your model okay generally this is not there in uh, you know in current or existing object so uh, the idea is we will uh, you know, tweak around with the some code in the object then you can get this kind of uh, case okay uh, in this session also i will highlight about uh, using by the demo by using this uh, they have a two project one is a two story short log so this uh, two story short log actually is a submission to majlis perbandara macam so uh, this is one of example so another example is uh, two story bungalow uh, this one is uh, submission to perbandaran terjaya okay you can see later in the object how I manipulate the you know the, the, the object and create a, a simple 2D uh, symbol for 2D representation. So um, you can see from here this is a, a proper side of uh, short block machang. You can even see uh, when I zoom in, you can see they have a Kluwa signage with a, a box there. It's supposed, of course, it's supposed to have a uh, you know uh, text K there, right? so you can uh, manipulate that to get this type of symbol, or even you can see under here they have a DP, so refer uh, refer as a dry powder symbol here that maybe normally used in in here in Malaysia. Okay, so or uh, even uh, of course you see like this object the Kluwa or Azix sign uh, right? Um, normally in uh, Archicad we don't have that lah. Okay. Uh, but what we can do is we can create object uh, with the you know symbol there. Then we can save that object as a GDL and save as a our own library. So later we can use it to another project. Okay. Uh, of course, inside there you can go to the object setting. You can do some tweak. I will show you later how how how, how we can do it. And then uh, from there you even can create your own uh, 2D symbol annotation. But it's embedded to the object. Later you can, I can show you. If you move the object, the symbol also will be moved. It means it's, it is attached to the object directly. Okay. This is another example. You can have your fire extinguisher and you can set that as a dry powder with the uh, specific symbol that you can use it on your real object or 3D object. Okay. And later I will show you uh, another example that, uh, you know, uh, it's attached for the, uh, let's say this, um, related for the electrical and mechanical uh, and drawing. Uh, even they have a symbol of uh, switch there. Normally we we don't we don't uh, in Akikat we don't have this, so we can create a special symbol attached to the switch. Then when you put to your model, if, if you move the model, it will follow also. This is it's related. Okay, this is another example. Uh, later I show how you can edit the object and do the some simple script thing and get your need based on what you need okay uh, this is another example from 2d view you can see they have a symbol of your switch right but in 3d actually it's a real um, switch but it's linked together if i move this switch automatically in, in this symbol also will move that, that's the idea okay. so i think we start now i Open my cat. Okay. Uh, maybe I can show you this is the okay, cat. Uh, how, how, how about my video is okay, uh, Marcelo? You have some maybe. Uh, yeah, I think it's fine. It's fine. Okay. Right. So the idea is um, this is the 2D representation of object in 
uh, uh, ICAP. You can see now they have an object there. Let's say this is example from here. On to the view, you can see uh, this is the detail view of your object. And uh, what I'm going to do now, I want to uh, change this detail view to have an option of maybe symbolic view like this. So currently uh, in here, normally the symbol of dry powder is something like this. Right? But if you go to objects, uh, let's say this is the object when I go to the object, you can see um, the object, uh, actually uh, the 2D representation of the object only have the detailed view. So something we don't want to show like this on our uh, drawing, right? We want to have a slight like, type of symbol. So. Sure. Ashraf, is the video yeah. freezing? video freezing? Yeah, I think no. you're still showing the PowerPoint. Oh, yeah, yeah, still oh, PowerPoint. Okay. Let me try to share my screen again. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, can you see my screen now? Um, I think I can share my okay. again. Okay. Can you see my screen? Okay. okay. Okay, so um so I, I think I need to repeat again. Uh, so this uh actually is a 3D of our object actually uh show in 2D view. So in 3D you can see something like this for our dry order, but in 2D view it, be like this symbol, right? It's like quite detailed. It's follow exactly like a geometry of the object. But uh, what I'm gonna do is I will change this view, or or we can have a multiple option to show either you want to show in uh, detail or you want to show in uh, simple uh, symbol, like right? symbolic something like this. Uh, say like this is a local uh, symbol that usually we use for our drive order. Okay, so this 3D presentation is something like this. Okay. And then uh, we will use this uh, script. Uh, I just write this script, the simple script. Uh, that uh, I'll show you how you can use this script uh, to your object. Then later you can see, we can uh, change the type of your 2D from the uh, setting of the object. Okay, uh, okay that is that. Uh, let me just keep go to the session okay now uh, what i'm gonna do now is i will open let's say uh, of course you can create a new one you can modeling your drop order you know so also can but what i'm gonna do is i just maybe pick up the existing object that i have in akikap let's say now i just take this uh fire extinguisher or drop order and then what i'm gonna do is i will put to here now I have my dry powder. If I open this in 3D view, okay. Okay, I can see my dry powder when you are in 3D view. But uh, in 2D view, uh, the the same the what called the object is something like this. It's quite detailed. I don't want to have this type of object. Okay, what I'm gonna do now? I just Select the object first. Uh, you can right click, and because I use the uh, existing object, right? The object, uh, existing object actually is a lock, means you cannot do anything with the, the the setting of the object. But you can, what you can do is you can first convert this object to the morph. Okay. Okay. Now the object is converted to the morph already. Then uh, you can go to file. Uh, libraries and object, save selection as object. Okay. Uh, 
just click that one. Then uh, maybe I just rename this new object as a uh, uh, DP zero zero one let's say okay. and I click save. Okay, this is a default one. I have anything that related to the object we will follow uh create this as a basic parameter of the object itself. But I don't want to touch this first, just uh, just click OK. Then after that, if I go back to the to here, when I double click. You can see this is the Ashraf DP001, the object that we already saved, right? It's exactly like the current object, DP or dry powder object, but it actually is a new object here. And you can see under custom setting, don't have any uh, cust uh, really, uh, you know, custom made setting yet. So what I'm gonna do is I just click OK, then I will put in here, okay. You can see now they have a two object, one is the morph that we converted and the, another one is an object itself, the, the uh, uh, what called the uh, object of the Ashraf DP001. So uh, what I'm going to do is now I just delete this first and I will move this object to here. Okay. okay. Then next, after you select the object, you can go to file, library and object and open object. So automatically, if you open the object, it will go to the setting of the object, uh, you know, GDL uh, setting of the object. You can, if you click here, you can see in 2D how it looks like, in uh, elevation how it looks like, in 3D view how it looks like, right? Okay. Uh, now what I'm gonna do is, if you remember, uh, uh, previously I have this scripting. So what I'm gonna do is I just take this scripting and do some manipulation in the GDL uh, what call, uh, parameter. Okay. The first I want to do is okay. I just copy this or you can type this uh, what I call this script. Okay. Yeah. I just copy this and go back to my. Uh, See uh, this DP001. Before that, you can see now I insert this script card parameter. Okay, so I go back to here. Sorry, to here. Then uh, I go to uh, under script, they have a parameter here. So what I'm going to do is I will paste this script in here. Okay. Uh, can you maybe explain I, more in detail what is happening yes. here. Uh, uh, we are yeah, creating a parameter, yeah. and okay. once it goes there, on the under the parameters script on top it will show what these um, parameters can do okay. the idea of this is the first uh, script is uh, the object type is referred to this object so later we have a, a option either you want to have a detailed view or symbolic view of our 2d presentation so this is uh, the the what I call the the, the uh, script that you need to write on your parameter, okay? On this, okay, the second one is I go back to here. Now, what I'm gonna do is I will copy this script. Of course, I can type one by one, but I just copy it. That's I will And where can we find this, uh, these scripts? Uh, okay, of, of course, this script actually is a, uh, I just created this very simple script that you can uh, uh, play or, or, or manipulate from that this script. But of course, you can, if you have a more detail or you know, uh, complete, uh, what could, um, um, complicated object, then you can go more. But I just show, what I show you know is uh, it's like a very uh, generic or simple uh, script for you to use for your, the object. Uh, let and uh, uh, after this, I wish. And brief you how the what you call the uh, yeah we can go to the GDL uh, script yes. uh, there is a, a booklet that we can use for that yes uh, later I will show how you can refer the GDL uh, website that you can go if you want to you know uh, learn more about the GDL script but yes. now uh, I just use this 
Very okay. What I'm going to do is I just delete this and paste the script that I have previously. So the the what I call the idea of this script actually uh, to to say that the object type means this our uh, what I call uh, our drive folder. If this uh, drive folder or object type is equal to detail, then it will take layer one. That that's the the idea. Okay, and and if if it, if it's not okay, the second uh, argument is if object type or this drive folder is equal to symbolics, then it will take layer two. Okay, so the idea is if you want to use the detail uh, symbol, then we take uh, layer one. If you want to have a symbolic, then we go to the layer two. Okay, that's the idea. But how it can relate to the object? Okay. Now, after you paste this script, what we're going to do now, I will click this 2D symbol. Oh, it, you don't have any in the okay. Now, if I click this 2D view, you can see. Uh, sorry. Yeah. Let me go back to yeah. Let me start something. Okay, sorry. <laughs> okay. We go back to to the view. Okay. Because I delete this thing, that's why you cannot see in two D. Okay. I have my uh you know standard symbol on my uh the, so the current symbol that attached to the object is this symbol, the detail symbol, right? What I'm going to do is I just copy this first, copy, then go back to the object, and under here to this symbol, I just I will click this and paste to here, okay? Make sure paste to the original location, okay? And click paste. Now I'll, I'll replace to here, okay. okay? If I select this, uh, uh, what I call line, you can see now, uh, in here, under layer here, you can see a list of uh, layer, one, two, six things, okay? So, this uh, line is under layer number one, you see now, it's layer number one, okay? Now, next, I go back to here, mm, uh, I go back to this, to the, uh, representation. What I'm gonna do? Of course, you can create this DP. This one that I already created. Uh, you know, using the document uh, here. Let's say now I try to create again. Right? As an example, I just paste it here and paste it here, and I type let's say DP or what, whatever text that you want. Okay, then uh, this. Symbol, I just use pin, pin tool as a symbol, okay? Maybe I just try to create again as an example, okay? Something like that. So it's the same thing, okay? I just use the current documentation that I have here and create this, created this kind of the symbol. But of course you can, if you have a template of your symbol already from CAP, right? You can bring to here also and then use that symbol to apply to your object. So this now, now I just show as an example, I just delete this back. So what I'm gonna do is, I copy the, I will copy this, uh, yeah, copy, then go back to this 2D symbol. So what I'm gonna do is I just paste, okay? Paste to here, okay? Make sure where is the right location of the symbol here, yeah, okay? So so I will move to here. Okay, maybe just something that like, is not quite accurate, but I want to put something that like here. Okay. Now, uh, if you select this uh, field, you can see it's still under layer number one, right? So what we're gonna do is I will change this to layer number two. Just send the click that one and click this. So uh, to make sure is it in the correct layer, you can select again. So this is already layer number two. How about this field? Oh, still layer number one. So you need to make sure that both 
of this symbol already on the layer two. Okay. So I think you get some idea already, right? So this first symbol is under layer number one, and this symbol is under layer number two. Okay. Okay. Next step is uh, I go back to the object. What I'm gonna do now? Uh, maybe I just I uh, will remove this or delete this uh, script on 2D script. Okay? And I will go back to here again. Uh, copy this uh, what do? this uh, script. Copy. Then go back to the uh, script to, under script 2D. Paste to here. Okay. I, so the argument is a uh, uh, maybe I, I repeat again. If the object is detailed, then we will use layer number one. Okay. If the object is symbolic, then we use number two. That's that's the idea. But of course, you if you want to make this script, you need to follow exactly right uh, this. Uh, you know, in, even in, in terms of the sizing of the text, uh, what you call the spacer, uh, the what you call the, the the comma symbol here. You need to follow exactly like this. Okay. Okay. The next thing that I I need to do is I need to go to the parameter the the top parameter here. Okay. I just click this one. So this is a pre preset uh parameter that I have in the object. Okay. But what we're gonna do is because I want to have a uh, uh, what I call uh, option for me to choose either of uh, detail or symbolic, right? What I'm going to do is I will create a new uh, parameter here. Okay, after you click this new, then if you remember, they have uh, uh, object type as a uh, what I call um, parameter here. You can see here object type, right? Object type, detail, and symbolic. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do is I go to here back and uh, under variable, I will type object. Type. After you click this uh, set uh, set this variable type as an object type, automatically it will link uh, or follow to this parameter. Means it will refer to this parameter. Okay. Uh, the second one is I need to make sure the type is changed to as a text. Okay. And the the name part is uh, maybe I want to. Uh, rename this as a 2D representation. Okay. Later, uh, I think you will see that what is the meaning of this. Okay. And then the value part you can see now after I set object type and the type as a, uh, you see this uh, word, automatically I have these two uh, options, either detail or symbolic. Okay, detail or symbolic. Okay, how we get how we get this uh, uh, list of option right? Because it's related to this uh, uh, yeah this two D script because we already differentiate by detail and symbolic, and also under parameter also they have a two option detail symbolic. Okay, that's why they have a two option there. Let's say if I uh, create another uh, option. Let's say I just put here as a maybe uh, you know a and also again maybe uh, here b right. Let's see lah. Right? Let's see b right. If I go to this parameter, you can see they have a a b here. So it's linked because of that this parameter. Okay, that that's the idea. I just show you the idea. So maybe later if you have any Another idea you can play around with this script. Okay. Uh, let me delete back this one. Click parameter. Make sure you have a detail and symbolic. Okay. Maybe even to check, you can click this to this symbol. Or you can click this symbol. You see, if I select, I click this symbolic, it will turn to DP or drive or drive. If I select this detail, it will turn to uh, detail view. Why? Because of under here, we already set the argument. If the object is detailed, we take layer number one. If the object is symbolic, we take layer number two. Okay. 
gain why because on the what you call in the symbol you can see this text and shape is under layer number two means it's symbolic and the detail one is layer number one you can see now right that's why it's it will reflect that okay uh maybe it's, it's I think it's, this is most uh, generic, uh, simplest way to you. Maybe after you repeat this video, you can understand. Okay. Uh, after that, what I'm going to do is I just, I will save this object first. Okay. And close. Again, I go back to the, to here. And if I select this object, you can see now Ashraf TP001, right? If I go to the object selection setting, you can see now under custom setting, they have a 2D representation. And they have an option that detail or symbolic. You can see now, right? Detail, symbolic. Okay. If you remember, uh, this 2D representation is reflected because of this, uh, huh? this uh, object. You go back to the okay, I just, uh, Replaced, you can see that 2D representation. So if anything that has here will be reflected to the custom setting of your object. But either you want to show or you don't want to show this, depend on that. Okay, let's say if I change this to uh, maybe representation, I just set that only representation and I just save, control S for save. If I go back to here, uh, sorry, go back to here. If I open this setting, you can see now it turned to representation only. Okay. So it means uh, that's the place you need to, to use for you to manipulate the maybe the name, the custom setting that you want to have a symbolic or detail, you know, uh, of your object. Okay. Now, next. What I'm going to do is, uh, again, I've changed from, of course, the first one is a detail, right? And I click, okay. So now the object is detail. But if I change this to symbolic, into the view, you can see the symbol of the object already changed to DP or dry powder. But let's say I just put, let's say, sound wall here okay i just put the uh, simple wall maybe uh the thing is 100 to show you how it look like in 3d okay. Okay. i have 2d of symbol of my drive order right but if i open this in 3d You can see actually it's a 3D model of your object. Only the difference is the in 2D view, if I go back to 2D view, it show as a symbol of your object. How about if I move this symbol, okay? If I move something like here, near to the wall, right? If I open back this, you can see now the object also will be moved. Mean is related. Uh, they say uh, again, if I select the object, the, the object, I want to set the height. You know, I want to change the height. Uh, maybe to uh, uh five, maybe one meter from the ground, right? Okay, change to one meter to the ground already, right? But if I go back to the two D, it's still there. You can see now, it's still there, right? So uh, that that's was the idea, okay? Uh, we have we have any question on the chat? Uh, yes, we actually have a comment okay. from Rashid, and right. I, I totally relate to this. He's saying that architects don't have time to learn scripting. Any mm. better solution? Yes. So Rashid, I, that's exactly why we did this session because um, yeah, this way you can see with just a couple of of scripting line mm. how much you can achieve so also these objects are objects that you're commonly using all the time so if you make them smart 
you can save a lot of time on on your production. So mm. I think you know GDL you, is super powerful. Um, it really depends how much you want to learn from it. Uh, me personally, I like to know a little bit for these kind of solutions. Um, and if you want, you know, other uh, for other reasons, we have Paramo that does the parametric objects. We have the um, the object um, library part maker for object creation as well. So we have different solutions for this. Maybe we can. Um, have uh, sessions that are more specific on this. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I agree with you. Uh, of course, uh, as an architect, we no need to go too deep about the program, programmer things, right? The scripting. But what I'm going to show you is a simple parameter that you can get some idea. Then you can use it to apply to your project. You know, with this simple, even you can tweak this par uh, script. And play around with your object. Okay. Okay. Uh, maybe uh, Zai asking about if you can share. I just okay. I will paste the what I call the script to the chat. So later you just can take that script and play. Try to play around with your object. Okay. Uh, okay. okay. I uh, we uh, I got a lot of you know, question from architect. Why we need to learn this? Uh, this uh, programmer language, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yes. Like uh, Marcelo said that. Yes, we no need to be a programmer to create a complicated object, right? But for the simple thing like this, you can. I think it's, it's very easy to understand. Just uh, just uh, use this script, tweak a little bit, then you can get your result already. Especially uh, for the submission, you know. When, when you want to do your submission, um, you know, sometimes uh, you need to create 2D symbol separately uh, with your 3D model right? because of the symbol, the local requirement for the symbol is specific like that. So uh, if, with this script, you can even custom it your object and then apply to your submission. Okay. Uh, another, uh, uh, what is it? Uh, uh, script I want to show is uh, this uh, example of the project. Yeah, okay, let's see. Let me open my uh, okay, starting from, from this shop lot. Can you see a screen now? Can, okay, all right. Okay, you can see now uh, it's a similar uh, things. I mean, you can see now here yeah, they have a symbol for. Um, what I call the uh, Kaluwa means a signage for, for what I call uh, Kaluwa. Kaluwa means a uh, basic. Okay. You can see in 3D view, they have an object here. I already created uh, you know, this object uh, called Kaluwa signage or sign symbol using the normal uh, element there in Hagikat. Uh, like this one, I just use, uh, you know, morph here. Yeah? This object, this morph, create something like this object. Then after I just select all the object, then save as uh, object. Okay. Similarly that that uh, the one that I showed previously. After that, after you have this object, if you go to the setting of the object, you can see how you can see in you know in. Uh, the version, the 3D view, you know, in, even in your uh, in your 3, uh, 3D, uh, welcome to 3D view, right? But of course, in uh, in the detail view, you can see start as uh, what I call shape, the long shape like that, but it's not really follow our local symbol, right? In this case, you can see I already changed this to this symbol, means a Kloa symbol. And if I move this symbol, let's say to here, right? Or I multiply this to maybe two, right? Yeah. Okay. I'll open back my 3D view. Back my 3D view. You can see they have a multiple symbol there. Means it's related. 
to the 2D script. It's not splitting. It means uh, later, the, the, the idea is if you have this object already, you can save that as your favorite. Even uh, you can set your special library for your company. Later, for the, another project, you can just pick up this and apply to that. Using the the what called the object that you created, okay. Um, yeah, this is an example you can see on DB right. Uh, similarly for the DP for the drop order that the one that I show you previously, okay. You can even apply that to your 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 project or your design. Another one I want to show you uh, is more maybe uh, on the complicated project. Uh, uh, let me share uh, another um, project here. Let's say for this project, okay. Can you see the screen now? Uh, the project Banglo yeah. Sintan Putrajaya, okay. Yes. Okay, this may be more, we go more complicated uh, project. Let's see now, uh, I go back to um, one of the, this is submission to Kobananan Putrajaya. You can even see now, uh, they have a special uh, symbol here. Okay, let, let me open this view. Okay. Uh, I forget to highlight. Actually, this GDL not only represented for 3D, it can represent it for 2D also. Okay, or it can be both. For example, like this, uh, you can see now this PCLT right is a faster shielding with the laminated timber floor. Right, if I select this symbol, actually this symbol is a GDL symbol, but if you open you can you can't see anything because it's a 2D symbol only, uh, GDL symbol. So uh, I go back to here. If I open this thing, you can see now uh, with this uh, what I call uh, this shape that I created, you know, using the document uh, document uh, line with text there, and I do some little tweaking in the script, then I can custom it based on this uh, symbolic or maybe type. Why? Uh, the idea is if I, I just only use the same symbol here, but I can uh, custom it based on the finishes or you know ceiling finisher or floor finisher that I need. Okay, let's see now uh, I can just go to the setting there again. I then maybe change to this as up scene render. When I click OK, you turn to see me render. So no need to do manually one by one. You, know, you just go to the text and then the, to the setting and then change it. So I think it will help in terms of when you're doing your you know, uh, detail of your documentation. Okay, another example, if we go, maybe, um, maybe it's not related to architect, but I want to show you the possibility of potential where uh, how how uh, you know, can go to 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 more to more to detail even uh, we rela related to your uh you know scheduling let's see now i similar thing uh often the default one you cannot see this switch right it's a it's a uh what call a, uh, custom 3d model of the switch uh you know of this uh, project but if, uh, the idea is if related to the symbol of the uh, switch also. You can see that this refer to the single uh, what was single uh, point, uh, double point, triple, four, even they have a switch of icon there, right? And this uh, table actually related to the 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 of the uh, uh, switch in the uh, B model, okay? Okay, why related? Let's see now. This is a uh, scheduling from Akikat, right? This is a model that I created, and then this is a 2D representation of the model. Let's say I select this one, then 
what I'm going to do is now, uh, before that, I need to open uh, view uh, of electrical view. Okay, let's say lighting and echo. Okay, I have my symbol of my object. Right. Now I go back to the to here. Okay, select this. Uh, this one. Uh, So yeah, I'm going to go back to the schedule here. Uh, the schedule, switch point, schedule, okay. And then, uh, just wait for a while, select this one. Hmm. It's not showing 3D. Let me open all the layers. Okay, layer. Go back to... Is uh, wait, uh, switch okay, okay. Uh, another one. Sorry, because you know it's refer to the model view. Sometimes the layer is closed. That's why you cannot, you, or you cannot select the specific. Uh, what's called the the object there. Um, let me open that. Uh, so uh, it's supposed to be refer to this like in the so this, okay, if I click this, uh, switch three point, right? When I click this 3D view, select in 3D. Okay. Okay, you can see here, they have dot there. Okay, maybe I am using this. The most the side there it is referred to sorry refer to exactly like this switch right it's a 3d switch of the uh, object in the model right but if i this is first floor if i go back to 2d view okay and I select this, uh, maybe I open the, go to the second, the first floor, you see here, I change it to the first floor, okay. And you can see the, this symbol, right, 2D symbol of your switch. In the 2D, you can see like this, okay. Then if I uh, maybe select this symbol, select this wall, Again, this wall and I open this in 3D view. Okay, you can see it's exactly like uh, re related to that symbol. Okay, so the idea is you can imagine that you have a multiple object in your 3D or B model, right? and everything actually is related one another, even in your schedule, like this one. Okay. Uh, even if I go back to the object and I multiply the, the what you call the, the, this symbol, right? Let's see, as I'm, maybe I just create another one or maybe another two here. If I go back to the schedule, okay, it's changed already, you see? For this is 10, change to 12 already. So you can imagine everything is linking together, you know, on your uh, project. And then reflected to your documentation letter. Okay, maybe um, before we ending, uh, uh, anybody, uh, maybe Marcelo or Zai want to, uh, you know, add something? Mm. Or if you have any question, yeah? Uh, I think this is, is, is very good because I feel... Okay, you guys can hear me? Yeah, yes, I can hear. Okay, because I feel uh, for for you guys architects, right, we don't need really so uh, a, a script that is so complicated because you just yeah. need uh, the 2D symbol for submission because the software is from Europe, right? So, of course, you know, in, in Singapore or in, in Malaysia, right? In Malaysia especially, right? So, you have to have your own uh, requirements, uh, your own symbols. Yeah. So mm. it, that's what Ashraf is showing, uh, a simple one. 
Okay. Uh, okay. Let, so, let, Asaf JV is asking, could you show us briefly your script of the finisher stack? In your metric, your parameter. Uh, okay, just now. Your script of the finisher stack. Okay, sure. Uh, wait, let me share that again to the project. Okay. Let's say, right, uh, symbol of 2D. Let's say uh, this project. Uh, maybe I change this to layout only. Okay. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Let's say this ground floor, right? Okay. I got the symbol right. I can go file uh, library and object and open object. Okay. Then uh, under here you can see I create a new two variable here. One is chilling type and the other one is floor type. Right. It's quite similar uh, parameter that we created before. And then under script you can see uh, wait, this script there. Okay. Uh, and then this is a parameter that where is the parameter? Okay. That one. Okay. Because this script is not related to anything in 2D, right? That's why you cannot see anything in the script. But the idea is if we relate reflected to the 2D symbol. Why? Okay. Okay, you can see here this and this one a a a a b b b b. So uh, it's quite a same method, but I will set this as a shilling type, refer to shilling type, and the b b b side refer to foreign type. Then you can click around with the parameter here. You can see here value a a b b here, right? And then uh, it will reflect that to your your symbol. Often this is the uh, the default value. I want to make sure it's it's a a a a b b. You refer to a a a and b b b b. Okay. Uh, I think it's okay, right? Inside. Right. There is a there is another question. Uh, okay. I think by Rashid, script for finishes will it detect the finishes of the object that we create, mm -hmm. or need to key in individually? Script of for finisher, yeah. we it detect the finisher if the object if, that yeah. we created. Um, if we use label, we can do that. Yes. Yeah. In here, oh. uh, I think we can. Oh. Is there any way we can assign the BB BBB to the to surface? Surface okay. or something. Yes, I think we can do it. We, but we should do. It, should be able to. It's, it's go to advance already, you know. Yeah. To yeah. think already, but of course you can do it. Yeah. So for for, for for yeah. yeah for that I think for the script for finishes I think labels can be quite easy. Mm, that's why I use this label because it's quite easy. I it's, it's uh, I can use the same label with any not anywhere in the in the to view. Okay. Uh, we run out of time. Uh, let me rush up. Uh, what? Uh, go back to the skip to the slide. Wait, huh? Okay, um, just off that. My slide. I, I, um, of course, maybe you can get some idea for this session, but generally, uh, what you can play around with the, you know, this kind of uh, simple um, uh, script with your GDL uh, object, then come up with something like uh, you know the 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 uh, example that I show you, okay? Uh, 
Can we yeah. maybe share one of the symbols? Give to them one so they cannot go to file open, you know, if you can. Uh, yes, yeah, sure, can. Uh, what we can do is you send me or write your contact or you can directly contact us, uh, give your email, then I will share the object. So later you can open on your Archicad. Okay, this is good. Okay. Like what we want you to learn, uh, don't just take wholesale, right? <laughs> yes, okay. Another way, uh, of course, uh, like I show you, is uh, uh, the object is uh, directly from the architect, right? Even you can go this website, beamcomponent.com. Actually, it's a graphic soft on uh, 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 a website that you can even search here to get any type of object that you want, man, that is not in the default architect uh, object. Or library just search here or what you can do is you can go to to the 3d warehouse right then you can download the object put to your architect then convert the object to gdl put to your to the uh, symbol as your annotation it can be done on that way also okay? ashraf uh, gary asked uh, for the finishes the current room schedule setting labels okay. we are not we are not able to generate a room finish schedule do you have a schedule with a finish? Okay. I think uh, you can, right? Yes, it can be done. It can, can be done. Uh, it can be done. But of course, it depends on your modeling, how you model your your slide. Let's say that we want to have a floor, flooring finishes, right? You want to differentiate between semi-render, laminated tile, or uh, laminated timber floor, right? It can do. You can even scheduling that. But depend on your modeling, how you model it. Okay, or uh, it can be related to the zoning. It, it can be, uh, you know, in, in model, it's, it's like a same object or, or same finishes, but you label it in zone as a different, uh, you know, different type of the finishes. Yes, I, I agree with you. Yeah. It, it is similar to CAT attribute, but need programming knowledge. Yeah. But for, yeah, for, for submission purpose, just a simple, simple, simple one should mm -hmm. do. Lah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, let me go back. Uh, okay. So, um, I think we, we rush up. Uh, we, we already finished our current session. So, later we, in 6th of June, 16th of June, we have our automate construction flow area calculation in schedule. Hopefully, you guys can join. This is important also. It's related to uh, Gary question, you know how you can create the schedule of your schedule uh, automatically from the model. So uh, later I will we, uh, learn from this session. Uh, of course, the people that you, you want to learn more, you can just go to this graphics to learn or learn the register. And they have a few free course and also paid course that you can learn from here. Okay. Uh, of course, after the session, we will get a certificate of that one, so it's important. <laughs> uh, this is our social media. You can scan this QR code to go to the, our social media. It's important also, like this current today session. Later, I will upload it to the our uh, YouTube channel so you can refer that method, okay? Or you can go to our uh, Facebook or LinkedIn uh, uh, social media. Yeah. Well, so this is example the, yes? Okay, good. Yes. Uh, uh, um, this is our YouTube channel. So they have uh, multiple uh, previous session that the recorded session that you can view from here, even uh, being bersama contractor, you know, together with uh, graphics, you can achieve more. Uh, they have uh, multiple playlists here that you can refer other than our main uh, YouTube channel, the uh, HQ YouTube channel, Akikat, right? But it's more localized, okay? Uh, I think this is the session that we running before, uh, just quick highlight, you know, program with uh, university, uh, even in PAM, uh, you know, thank, thanks for PAM for, you know, um, uh, you know, we, we do something, uh, activity together previously, hopefully we can, uh, continue again. I think that's all for my session. If you have any question, you can ask now for one, two minutes, or we can end in the session. Mm -hmm. Or if you want to add something, Zaid, or maybe Marcelo, you want to add something, can I? Uh, or no, if not, uh, you can just... Marcelo left for another meeting.
Yeah, okay, all right. Okay, I think that's all. Hopefully, it's a fruitful session. If you have any uh, question, you can just uh, ask him, uh, me or Zaid. Maybe Zaid, you can uh, type your address here or your numbers if possible to here. You know, uh, so they can contact us if they have any questions. So this is my, again, this is my uh, email. You can uh, go directly asking any question from there. Thanks for joining the session. Hopefully, you guys can join the session. Okay. Uh, I think that's all. Uh, thanks, guys. Okay. Yes. Zai is very, you know, if you have any technical, you can ask uh, Zai. <laughs> okay. Thanks, guys. Thank you.